ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the horribly and unfairly treated January 6th hostages. Former, maybe future president Donald Trump came to my home state of Ohio today in order to hold a rally in Dayton. Now, I rushed over to give you the news and I did a terrible job of hanging up this backdrop in the process. I get the feeling that I won't learn from that mistake in order to fix this thing for however many videos I make for this platform in the future. Anyways, we'll get back to what Donald wants to do for J6 protesters versus what he wants to do to some immigrants and migrants later. But first, if you were wondering what kind of Ohioans attend Trump rallies, well, it's the kind that will hold up this sign that says, no means no, creepy Joe, while supporting a man who was found to have raped, E. Jean Carroll, and will probably be owing her more money real soon. Speaking of a lack of awareness, Trump had the nerve to make fun of someone else's weight. In this case, the governor of Illinois. I don't know how it continues. You have this guy Pritzker. I don't know. He's too busy eating. He wants to eat all the time. Would you like a hamburger? How many do you want? Five? I'll have five burgers, please. You go to his office. Would you like a hamburger? Yeah. Okay, I'll have five burgers, please. Who the hell orders five burgers? Trump would. Trump definitely would. Moving on. You know Donald couldn't go very long without getting into victim mentality. You know, all my life, you've heard of Andrew Jackson. He was actually a great general and a very good president. They say that he was persecuted as president more than anybody else. Second was Abraham Lincoln. This is just what they said. This is in the history books. They were brutal. But nobody comes close to Trump. If you thought 45 knew nothing about U.S. history from the 19th century, peep what he said about events from the 20th century. They changed the name of Fort Bragg. They changed the name of Fort Robert E. Lee. They changed the name of the different forts. We won World War I. We won World War II. We won everything we fought with, really, essentially, from those forts, if we wanted to win. A lot of wars we fight not to win. We fight just to fight because we have stupid people on top. So America won World War I and World War II from forts in North Carolina, according to the man who wants to be persecuted so bad. Then there was acknowledgement that yet another band or recording artist doesn't want 45's campaign to play their music, this time with a slurring of words. You know, we play the song, you know, that hold on, I'm coming. Do we like it? Yeah. Who liked the Rolling? OK, you had the Rolling Stone, uh, Stone song, which we like. Then we get to, well, coming just short of using actual slurs. Young people, they're in jail for years. And if you call them people, I don't know if you call them people. In some cases, they're not people, in my opinion. But I'm not allowed to say that because the radical left says that's a terrible thing to say. They say you have to vote against him because did you hear what he said about humanity? I've seen the humanity and these humanity, these are bad, these are animals, okay? And we have to stop it. We can't have another Lakin. We have so many people. We have so many people being hurt so badly and being killed. They're sending their prisoners to see us. They're sending and they're bringing them right to the border. And they're dropping them off and we're allowing them to come in. And these are tougher than anybody we've got in the country. These are hardened criminals. And we've got hundreds of thousands of them. And uh, we're not going to take it. We're just not going to take it. We're destroying. They are destroying our country. I'm telling you. With that in mind, what I want to focus on for a little bit is an immigrant. Bernie Marino. You get to heaven. And imagine what that's like what that feels like. And imagine who you get to meet. You get to meet the 55 people that signed our Declaration of Independence. You get to meet James Madison, Abraham Lincoln, John Jay, Alexander Hamilton, George Washington. Bernie Marino and Trump have this whole not knowing US history thing in common. Homie thinks Abraham Lincoln signed the Declaration of Independence. Now. Bernie Marino is a Republican businessman running for U.S. Senate here in Ohio. The 57-year-old was born in Columbia to a wealthy family before immigrating to Florida as a child and becoming a U.S. citizen at the age of 18. He purchased his first car dealership in 2005 and used his wealth to build an empire that came to include high-end dealerships in multiple states. So this dealership may have been a financial supporter of the gay games out of Cleveland slash Akron in 2014. You should also know that the Associated Press obtained data from a casual sexual encounters website called 
adult friend finder. A profile from 2008 sought out, quote, men for one-on-one -on -one sex. Due to a leak, as well as information that remains publicly accessible on the company's website, we learned that someone with the username Nardo19672 was, quote, looking for young guys to have fun with while traveling. An analysis of those records showed that the profile was created and authenticated by someone who had access to Marino's work email account. Marino's lawyer said a former intern created the account as a prank. You be the judge in the court of public opinion on that. Let's just be clear. It's more than okay for Bernie Marino to be gay. That should go without saying. But Republicans will have a problem with it. However, if you want Trump's endorsement and Marino has it, then it's okay for a man to kiss Donnie's ring. I mean, Moreno once said there was no scenario in which he would support Donald Trump. He's called Trump a fake Republican who stokes hatred and fear and suggested that the former president's popularity is a result of ignorance in our society. Moreno previously congratulated President Joe Biden on his 2020 presidential win. And after the attack on the Capitol in January of 2021, Moreno posted, Trump deserves lots and lots of blame for this. But hey, Another Ohio politician has proven that kissing Trump's ring will get you far. Do you know that all of the net job growth under Biden's presidency has gone to the foreign born? And Donald Trump's presidency, the job growth went to American citizens. Let's rebuild prosperity for America's citizens and reelect Donald J. Trump. Ohio Senator J.D. Vance. He knows all about switching up in order to get Trump's endorsement. Matter of fact, Vance got it instead of Marino in 2022 Senate primary. I don't know where JD got that job stat from, but it doesn't matter to that crowd. Vance once said publicly he did not vote for Trump in 2016 and suggested in private messages that year that the former president might be America's Hitler. He later called 45 a moral disaster in 2017, but while running for Senate that year, Vance said he regretted his past comments criticizing Trump and has since come to loudly praise the former president. Meanwhile, Trump is praising people who people won't praise back. Katie Britt, she was doing a good job. Who liked the job she did the other night? I thought she did a very nice job. Liberals didn't like it very much, I guess, but I thought she did a very nice job. Crickets. And here is Trump pretending like one of the worst Ohioans is a victim. Uh, JR was a hero and is a hero and they hit him very hard with false stuff that he wasn't a hero. And after the election, they found out he was. And I, on behalf of our country, I'd like to apologize to J.R. Majewski because you were treated very unfairly. So, OK, uh, you were treated very unfairly. The guy was a hero and they came out with a narrative that he wasn't a hero. And I think it's a disgrace, a disgrace. As for what Trump and Trumpers want to do with what they deem to be illegal immigrants. He is an illegal monster. He should never have been in our country and he would have never been in our country. Never, ever would he have been in our country if the election weren't rigged because we didn't allow people like that into our country. We didn't welcome them and they knew it. Because the election was stolen. By who? From who? You know, it was interesting. Joe Biden won against Barack Hussein Obama. Has anyone ever heard of him? Barack Hussein Obama. Look, Trump won Ohio twice. Montgomery County, where Dayton is, voted for Biden in the 2020 presidential election. So did Columbus, where I'm from. And the Buckeye State may come off as purple and a swing state, but in reality, it's red especially when you consider the illegal gerrymandering going on around here. And I know that in context, Trump said what I'm about to play in reference to blue collar work, warehouse, factory, auto assembly line jobs. But concerning how Trump wanted to release prisoners and get rid of law abiding immigrants that he deems to be criminals, we all need to take this to heart. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole that's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. For Really American, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. Still.